I'm John Buchanan, and in this video, we're going to learn how to work with Logic's plugin manager so that we can set up effects in ways that maybe make more sense to us than the way that Logic does it by default. So Logic comes with a whole range of instruments and effects, and the plugin manager is the place where not only they, but also any third-party effects that you might have purchased are organized. Every time you install a new plugin, it will authorize and it will be added to the plugin manager list. Now that's great. It works really nicely that we have access to all of those separate plugins, whether they're from Spitfire Audio or Native Instruments or FabFilter or any of the other huge number of excellent third-party manufacturers who make plugins. But have you ever sort of thought to yourself, wouldn't it be great if I could have a folder called EQs, which maybe contained Logic's channel EQ, but also sat alongside your favorite third-party EQs from other manufacturers, rather than having to drop down into the audio units folders, going to the manufacturer name, finding the plugin that you want to use. It would be better if you could have one folder called EQs and that you could put your favorite plugins into that list. Well, in this video, we're going to learn how that's possible. So what I'm going to do is to come to Logic. I haven't got any content here. We're just focusing on preferences and then the plugin manager, which is where we can find all of the plugins that are installed on this system. So when I open this up, I get to see all of the plugins that are listed. And what we can see is all of Logic's plugins um, uh, listed in one long set. And you probably recognize this category list here because this is the category list we see in Logic. When we come to add an effect, we can go into the folders that are created within Logic so that we can access amps and pedals or the delay plugins or the distortions and so on and so forth. But even within Logic's own list of plugins, it would be quite nice if I could make a folder of my own. Let's suppose, for instance, what I do is to use channel EQ and compression on nearly every single sound that I process. Well, fine, except that at the moment I have to go into two separate folders to go and find those two plugins. I have to go to the EQs and then I have to go to Dynamics. So if I could create a folder which was maybe called Go To um, Effects, where I could put my channel EQ, compression, and maybe my favorite reverb, I'm only going into one folder to find the effects that I want to use, and I know that they're there waiting for me. So to do that, what I can do is to come into the category folder and I can press the plus button. And what this allows me to do is to make a new folder, which I'm gonna call go to FX. These are the ones that I go to all of the time. And what I can then do is to press return. Now you can see that all of the effects that I have on my system have now vanished. And that's because I'm looking at the inside of the go to effects folder, which at the moment I haven't assigned any effects into. So what we're going to do is to come back to show all and all of these plugins reappear. And what I can then do is to go looking for the ones that I want to add to this list. So here is the channel EQ. And what I'm going to do is to simply grab this plugin and I'm going to drop it on go to effects. The next one I mentioned was the compressor. I use that plugin all of the time. So what I'm going to do is to go and find it. And I, I've got a few options here. There's an AU multiband compressor, there's a sound compressor, but the one that I want is just compressor. And again, I'm going to put it here. And then what I'm also going to do is to go and find Space Designer. And I'm going to put this in here as well. I've also got a, um, a plugin here, a third party plugin from Apogee. And maybe what I'll do is to add both of these into this go to effects folder. And then if I click on the folder, I should see those effects um, having been added to the list. At the moment, I've still got a little search window open with the word space in it. If I get rid of that, I'll see all four of the effects that I've added uh, into this folder. So what does that mean back in Logic? Well, if I close down the plugin manager, what it means is that if I now come to any track, whether it's um, an instrument track or an audio track, what I can then do is to come here to audio effects and click on the list. And here are all of the folders that Logic creates automatically for me. And there, alphabetized, is my go-to effects, which contains the group of effects that I've put together to exist here. And what that means is that every time I want to just set up my favorite settings from the processes that I use all of the time, I can come into this area and go to the go-to effects folder. So what we've learned within this video is that very easily within the plugin manager, we can create new folders into which we can assign any groups of effects we like. If you've got lots of third-party plugins and you're looking for a way to put all of your EQs together, all of your compressors together, all of your reverbs together, this is a really useful thing to do. But even if you're only working with Logic's own plugins, maybe you would prefer to work with folders of plugins that you have categorized um, 
yourself, whether that's the favorite plugins that you use all of the time, or maybe just different combinations of effects for different genres of music that you work on. So the plugin manager, go and create your own folders and you can organize your effects however you like.